Hey there and welcome to a quick tutorial on a prop line tool. Prop line tool is one of the most powerful mods there is for detailing cities and city skylines. It allows you to draw lines of props and trees for that matter. And it really, really helps out a ton when you're trying to go, you know, really detailed on your uh, on your cities. So what I'm going to show you next is just a couple of tips and tricks of things that I often use when uh, I'm working on my own projects. Now, in order to illustrate the uh, features of PropLine Tool, I sort of created this uh, intersection with two buildings and a bit of a parking area. And uh, let's just begin by setting up a pipeline between uh, these two farm silos of sorts. So let's go into the Find It mod, which is, uh, you know, unrelated to PropLine Tool, but it's really, really handy and I highly recommend you, you get it. And let's just select this uh, pipe. The moment you select a prop or a tree for that matter, you will get uh, this menu right here that uh, is straight to PLTK or prop line tool. You get the straight line, you get the curved line, and you get the freeform lines. Uh, this behave exactly the same as they do when you drag roads, as you can see. But uh, in this case, they only affect the prop that you're laying down. So let's just simply go on a straight line, zoom in real close, click here, and then just hover over to the area where you want uh, the end point of your, you know, line of props and just uh, click once more and then you get uh, the line of props. However, you can see here that uh, our pipe is a little bit offset and also it goes into the building. We really don't want that. So the first cool feature that I want to show you is that you can undo your changes. So by simply doing control Z, you get rid of this line of props that you just did. In fact, you can do multiple lines of props like this and undo several times, more than once. So in this case, we're gonna click once again, hover over to this uh, other end, and instead of clicking and just confirming this, we're gonna hold control, and you can see that uh, the blue turns into a green uh, color. So when you click now, you enter this sort of edit mode. My cursor now is free to do things, and the line of props is still there, but I can still you know, move it around, uh, or I can just grab the nodes and change the angle if I want it, or even change the rotation of these elements, or what I'm looking after is getting the spacing to be somewhat different. So let's just put it right in here. And uh, we're a bit off on the other side as well, so I could just simply grab this. I think right about there is okay. So now when we're ready to commit the changes, we'll hold control again. It goes back into blue mode, and when you click, Hopefully, there we go, we get our line of, uh, of props perfectly laid out. Uh, one thing to notice that it's very important, this is something that you will need, is uh, the prop precision mod. Prop precision actually works together with the prop line tool and uh, basically fixes uh, an issue that prop line tool has that by default, when you place a line of props, I'm just gonna do this manually because uh, it, it, will, it will be harder to do the other way. Uh, sometimes if you're, uh, you know, plopping things at an angle, uh, the props will be a little bit offset like this. So this looks terrible, especially when you're doing fences of things that, or things like that. Uh, with prop position, that is absolutely effects and uh, you definitely need to get that mod as well. I'm gonna include the link in the description for that. So let's try something a bit more interesting. Let's do a uh, curved fence that kind of hogs this uh, segment of road. So we're gonna position the camera here. Let's go find it again. And we're gonna type fence. Let's go with this uh, eight meter fence. And instead of having a straight line, we're gonna go curved mode. Just uh, click once, then uh, click twice to set the segment without pressing anything. And now when we're pretty much uh, at the spot where we want this uh, curve to end, we're gonna hold control again to go into edit mode and then click. So now we are in this edit mode and we can just simply change the, uh, or edit, you know, the tangent for this curve easily. So we can basically align it as much as we can or as much as we want to sort of match the curvature of uh, the road. So that looks about right. I'm gonna click once. And um, if you come over here, uh, I want the fence to sort of start at the at the edge of the dirt here. I don't necessarily want this fence to creep into this silo. Uh, and there's an easy way to solve that, especially when you plop down fences, which is to turn on the fence mode. Fence mode will reset the point of uh, of where the uh, prop, you know, or the position of the prop start. Now let's uh, hold control confirm this. In fact, if we were to continue doing, um, you know, more fences, 
if we go back, you can see that the point where I end it is still like selected. I can go into, uh, for example, straight mode and it will automatically match the end of the fence um, right where I ended my curve. So this is actually great when you're doing like, if you go freeform style, you can do things like this and it will like remember absolutely everything you did until you obviously right click. Now, another thing that I wanted to do is have a line of trees on these, uh, you know, patches of grass on the side of the road. So I want to find a tiny little tree. This one will work well. And uh, let's go into the straight mode. Just simply click and uh, drag at the end and you'll immediately notice that the trees are not showing up. Uh, in fact, if I go away from the road, well, you can see them, but uh, they sort of collide with the road. And uh, the, the mod, it's basically alerting me of that with a yellow marker. In fact, the same happens when I try to go over buildings, as you can see here. Uh, there is a solution to that. So I'm going to hold control and click again. So we're in edit mode. And if we open the settings or the control panel here for a prop line tool, we can go into the options and we need to turn on the prop line tool anarchy. It doesn't matter if we have prop and tree anarchy, which is the other mod that allows, uh, you know, or removes the uh, collision detection for pretty much everything else. Uh, it doesn't, it's not affected. Propline tool is not affected by that mod. So you definitely need to come here and check this on. I basically have this on all the time. Uh, it, it resets every time you restart the game. So keep that in mind, but uh, it's, uh, it's a great tool. So I'm gonna unselect this. This, by the way, this menu only shows up when you are in one of the three Propline tool modes. Uh, modes, sorry. So I'm gonna hold control once again, click OK, and now I have my line of trees. Let's do this a couple more times. It doesn't matter if you're in fence mode, you can turn fence mode off, by the way. It will sort of change the way, uh, uh, the, it, will, it will change the spacing and other variables. I pretty much have fence mode on all the freaking time. Now, what I wanna do next is have, uh, you know, this, uh, this, this road kind of ends abruptly here. So I wanna have a line of uh, dash uh, markings that sort of uh, fades into this uh, narrow area of the road. So let's go find the bike metal decal. This is a vanilla decal, by the way. And um, let's go into the settings real quick here. And we're going to uh, reduce this by, well, by however much we want. In this case, I found that for this particular asset, three meters is, uh, is good enough. The same uh, we can do on the other side. Let's just bring it up to here, hold control and click. So we're in edit mode once again. And if we bring this down to one meter, uh, you can basically have almost a solid line. You can just subtract a few, you know, decimal points. In fact, we can even go like that. And uh, after the dust settles, uh, we can just see pretty much a straight line that looks like the one on the road. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, let's do a bit of a parking lot here and I'll show you the last uh, interesting feature of this mod. And uh, we have a straight line here. So let's go real quick into edit mode. And as you can see, we have uh, this uh, spots that are not looking great. But uh, what I want to do is have a 45 degree angle parking. So let's go negative 45 here so that they point uh, downwards. I mean, you can do plus 45 and they will point the other way. This is really up to you. In fact, you can even just rotate it and, and get whatever angle you want. You'll see that this relative angle uh, box updates every time you do that. They're overlapping a little bit. So I think the perfect measurement here is 3.5 meters. And another interesting uh, tip that I'll give you is if you want this to be perfectly parallel to the road, actually move the line of props parallel to the road. So right about there while you're still in edit mode, of course. And then once you're happy with that, just simply put it back in place. So hold control, click, and uh, there you, you're done. You have your 45 degree angle parking. Let's uh, let's add a few cards for, for good measure. So we're gonna go vanilla. Uh, let's put uh, a few hatchbacks. So we're gonna click in here and uh, let's turn off fence mode for this. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. For the most part, I use it all the time, like I said, but uh, in this case, it's not that useful. So we're gonna get the cars closer together, something like that. You can, uh, of course, hold control and click and, uh, well, that's not what I wanted. I can undo, which is great. Let's move cars right about there and then hold control, click OK. And there you have it. You have a line of cars. You can then come come in and remove specific cars, you know, to randomize them a little bit. Put a red one because why not facing the other way. 
And uh, you can do this multiple times. I mean, you can see how powerful this mod is and uh, how flexible it is uh, when it comes to uh, detailing your cities. Hopefully this tutorial answers some of the questions that you may have about PropLine tool. Make sure to like this video if that is the case. And uh, also, uh, if you want to see me apply some of these techniques to a real City Skylines project, make sure to check out my current series called Sinu, where I'm building a tropical atoll based uh, of uh, real atoll in the Maldives, actually. But uh, that's, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.